Overcoming Shame and Healing Your Inner Child by Briella Clark is a transformative book that delves into the deep-seated emotional wounds many individuals carry from their childhood. The work offers an empathetic approach to confronting and healing from the long-lasting effects of childhood trauma and rejection. Clark guides the readers on a path to peace, self-compassion, and acceptance, emphasizing the importance of recognizing and reconstructing the negative narratives that often stem from their past experiences. The book begins by exploring the concept of, of shame and how it differentiates from guilt. While guilt is associated with a particular action, shame relates to one's self-worth. Shame is more destructive as it can penetrate the core of an individual's identity prompting a belief that one is fundamentally flawed or unworthy of love and belonging. This distinction is vital as it sets the stage for understanding how shame originates in childhood through various forms of trauma and rejection. Clark examines the sources of childhood trauma, which can range from overt abuse and neglect to subtler forms of emotional unavailability or inconsistency from caregivers. Such experiences disrupt the formation of a secure self-image, and can implant harmful beliefs that the child then carries into adulthood. These beliefs shape the stories we tell ourselves, often manifesting as a harsh inner critic that dictates how we interact with the world and perceive ourselves. The author argues that to heal from these wounds, it is essential to reconnect with the inner child, the part of our psyche that holds our early experiences and emotions. This concept is more than a metaphor. It's an avenue for self-understanding and growth. She suggests that individuals have to learn to listen and respond to their inner child's needs with the same compassion and attention that they would offer to a real child. One of the key strategies Clark introduces is the practice of rewriting the negative stories we've internalized. This involves identifying these ingrained narratives, understanding their origins, and actively reframing them in a more positive or realistic light. Clark provides practical advice on how to accomplish this, such as journaling and cognitive behavioral techniques, to replace self-defeating thoughts with empowering beliefs. Mindfulness and self-compassion are underscored as crucial components for healing. By being present with one's thoughts and feelings without judgment, individuals can observe the workings of their inner critic and choose not to identify with it. Furthermore, self-compassion involves treating oneself with kindness, especially during moments of perceived failure or inadequacy. Clark encourages readers to embrace self-love and radical acceptance, which entails acknowledging and accepting all parts of oneself, both the strengths and the limitations. Clark also discusses the role of boundaries in the healing process. Setting healthy boundaries is portrayed as a form of self-care and respect, which can be difficult for those who have experienced rejection or have been taught to prioritize others' needs over their own. Learning to say no and to protect one's emotional space is depicted as a step towards reclaiming personal power and fostering self-respect. The book delves into the therapeutic modalities that can aid in healing, including traditional talk therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, and more experiential approaches like art or movement therapy. Clark emphasizes the value of professional guidance in navigating the complex process of healing from childhood trauma, as well as the potential for self-help methods to complement these efforts. An interesting aspect of the book is its discussion of emotional flashbacks, which are intense and sudden surges of emotions that stem from past trauma but are triggered in the present. Clark offers insights into recognizing and managing these flashbacks, guiding the reader on how to remain grounded and how to avoid being overwhelmed by the emotions related to past experiences. Throughout the book, Clark also touches on the significance of fostering supportive relationships and communities. The presence of compassionate and empathetic connections can provide a corrective emotional experience, countering the isolation and rejection that often accompany shame. These relationships can also model healthy interactions and provide validation, which is essential for rebuilding one's sense of worth. In the later sections, the author explores the concept of post-traumatic growth, how individuals can not only recover from their wounds, but also emerge stronger and more resilient. The journey of healing is not just about returning to a baseline of functioning, but about personal transformation 
and finding a new sense of purpose and meaning in life. Clark encourages readers to see their adversity as a catalyst for growth, which can lead to positive changes in outlook, relationships, and overall well-being. Finally, Clark emphasizes that healing is a nonlinear process. It requires patience, persistence, and often the courage to revisit painful aspects of one's past. However, she assures readers that it is a worthwhile endeavor that can lead to a life marked by greater self-awareness, inner peace, and fulfillment. In conclusion, Overcoming Shame and Healing Your Inner Child by Briella Clark is a comprehensive guide for those seeking to overcome the scars of childhood trauma and rejection. It combines an understanding of the psychology of shame with practical strategies for self-healing, providing a roadmap for individuals to rewrite their life stories, find peace, and embrace themselves with compassion, love, and acceptance. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.